All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Friday, March 29th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Time to start us off. Yeah, guys, I am 0-0 right now. I gave out the Bucks on the money line versus the Pelicans. The game is currently uh, in the third quarter, just tipped off after halftime. I'm hoping for some better luck because the Bucks kind of got ran off the floor. Need a big, big second half from Giannis and Dame. Yeah, and I've got uh, the the Boston Celtics here. Minus 12 and a half. I got a really good line. Last time I checked trade, they were tied with the Atlanta Hawks in the third quarter. And we've got Tatum, Brown, Derek White, Christoph Porzingis, Andrew Holiday. They're all on the floor. Best team in the NBA, my ass. Hopefully they can pull something out of their ass in the uh, in the fourth quarter and we can cover the spread there. Let's go to the player props. I can start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm actually 1-0 and now. Uh, I just checked in. My player prop did hit. I gave out Christoph Porzingis. Over 17 and a half points versus the Hawks. He's already hit over that uh, currently at 20 points. So a uh, shout out for Zingas. Uh, hopefully he uh, chips in a few extra points for Bear. Yeah, and I have CJ McCollum over 3.5 May threes going up against the Bucks. Uh, he had two at the half. I think he was two of six. So he is taking a lot of shots. We just need a couple more to fall. Um, and I, th I think he'll get it. I think he's going to get it tonight. Trey, let's go over the group play. We didn't have a group play last night, but we have one tonight. We are going to be talking about the Houston Rockets who are on the Warriors' heels right now, going up against the Utah Jazz. This is not the correct spread. I don't know, Trey, why it does not correct the spread whenever I submit it. I'm sorry. Well, I can let you know the spread okay. is currently uh, the Rockets. They're favored by minus 5.5 on the road, over under 229.5. Okay, you want me to start? I got it here. We're taking the Rockets minus 5.5 because someone in the chat says he keeps coming back because of the Rockets' love. So <laughs> we're going to take the Rockets here. Uh, they need to keep winning these games if they want to if they want to take over the Warriors for the 10th spot in the playoffs. So uh, I like the Rockets here. Maybe they can continue to win out. I know they have the game against the Warriors in like three or four games. That would be a great matchup if they can win all the way out until that Warriors game, then take that one, and they'll definitely be in the playoffs. Trey, what do you like here? Yeah, I mean, if you didn't put this as the group play, I would have taken it myself. I've been back in the Rockets for what seems like uh, two weeks now. Every game I've been back in them. It's going to uh, continue here. Give me the Rockets. I'm going to take the minus five and a half. They're on a mission the Warriors, they're starting to win some games, which is bad for the Rockets. So the Rockets need to continue winning games, and they know that. And uh, maybe uh, Operant Sangoon getting hurt was a good thing. Probably not. But ever since he got hurt, they have just been outscoring teams like crazy. And uh, going up against a bad defensive team like the Jazz, it's going to continue. Give me the Rockets. I agree with Bear. Minus five and a half. All right. Team sweep there on the group play. Trez, go to our place for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be going with the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Sacramento Kings game. And this is going to be a very entertaining game to watch. Both teams need this win. It's going to be like a playoff atmosphere here. The Mavericks are currently the sixth seed and are only half a game above the Suns and a full game above the Kings in the Western Conference standings. So the Kings, they're trying to catch the Mavericks. And the Mavericks, they're trying to stay out of the playing tournament. And these two teams, they actually played a couple nights ago. And I backed the Mavericks in that game plus one and a half. And they ended up dominating that game, winning it by 36 points. Now, I do not expect another butt whooping like that, but I do expect another Mavericks win. I'm going to be taking the points again. Give me the Dallas Mavericks plus one and a half in this game. I love that we're catching a point here because, again, I believe they should win this game straight up. My opinion remains the same. This Kings defense is simply not good at all. Their offense plays at such a fast pace that it allows teams to run up the score on them defensively, and that's why the Mavericks – scored 132 points against them in their last game and Luca and Kyrie combined for 50 plus points and I expect another elite performance for this Mavericks team ever since the trade deadline and the Mavericks acquired a ton of length and size their defense has turned up and that's why they're nine and one over their last 10 games I expect the momentum to continue here given the Mavericks plus one and a half against the Kings yeah, Trey, I like that play there. Uh, for my play today, I'm going to be looking at the New York Knicks going up against the San Antonio Spurs. Give me the Knicks here. Minus 10 in this game against the Spurs. I talked about the New York Knicks on the website the other day against the Raptors, and they dominated the Raptors. Trey, I'm telling you right now, we're a few weeks away from the NBA playing tournament, and I think the New York Knicks have a chance to make it deeper on the playoffs. They might win the whole damn thing this season. It's the NBA. I'm not supposed to be seeing this kind of defense, but every single time the Knicks play, they win their games with defense. The scoring comes. It always does. Everybody has great shooters in the NBA. It's the NBA. You're on a roster. You're going to be able to shoot the ball. The job that Coach Thibodeau has done for the New York Knicks this season on the defensive side of the ball is going to win them a minimum of one playoff series this year. Over the last three games, the Knicks, they've allowed 101 points, 99 points, and 93 points. It was against three bad teams, but they only gave up 113 to the Nuggets, 112 to the Warriors, 91 to the Kings, 79 twice to the 76ers, and 74 to the Magic over the last 10 games.
The defense that they are playing is unheard of in the NBA, and the offense is starting to flow with Jalen Brunson back, Dante DiVincenzo. He's picking up a ton of slack, so is Josh Hart as they're dealing with these injuries of Julius Randle and OG. This team's going places, and I'm going to take them in this game against the Spurs who don't play great defense, don't play great offense. Give me the Knicks here, minus 10 as the play. Trey, let's go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with Kyle Kuzma here. And I'm going to take him to go over 22 and a half points going up against the Pistons. I really love this over for Kuzma in this game. In my opinion, we are going to see him dominate here. And I believe that for a couple of reasons. The first one is because he's already hit with this bet for me once this year. I gave it out on January 27th against the Pistons. And he scored 30 points for us in that game and smashed his over. And I believe that Kuzma is going to have another great performance here. That's because that's what he does against Detroit. Kuzma, he's averaged 26.2 points per game over his last five games versus the Pistons. And that's because Kuzma, he is from Michigan, and he always loves playing against his childhood favorite team. And we're going to be getting a nice discount line here too because Kuzma, he's only averaging 21 points per game over his last five. But I expect him to get back to scoring here, especially since the season's coming to an end and Kuzma needs to carry some momentum into the offseason. So give me Kyle Kuzma. I'm going to take him to go over 22 and a half points versus the Pistons. Yeah, Trey, I like that one there. For my player prop, it's going to be Stephen Curry to go over his total points going up against the Hornets. Draymond Green, he got tossed in the last game. Stephen Curry, he looked like he was very emotional in tears watching him walk off the floor. I'm not sure if he knows something that we don't, but maybe they said, hey, Draymond, if you get another technical, if you get ejected again, we're going to have to move on. I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's the case. I feel like we've given Draymond Green every opportunity to be a better person on the floor, and he just won't take it. But looking at this game for the Warriors, this is a must-win game for them if they want to make the playoffs. Despite Draymond going off in the last game and Curry have that emotional moment, they were able to battle through and take that game on the road against the Magic, who are a very good team. It's time now for the best shooter in the league to start putting his mark on this playoff run. So I'm going to take him to go over his points. The Hornets defensively are horrible. The Hornets offensively, they're also horrible. This is not a good team. And I can see Stephen Curry putting up 30-plus points in 20 or so minutes and then getting a break on the bench for the rest of the game. This is the easy opponent he's been facing over the last three games, having to take on the Magic, Heat, and Timberwolves in the last three games. This this is not a good defense. The last three defenses he played were very good. He's getting a layup in this one. I think he's going to have a big game. He's going to have a ton of space. Give me the best shooter in basketball to go over his total points as the play. Trey, let's go to that graphic. Have you start us off. I just checked his number dropped. Guess what it dropped out at? 27 and a half. 24 and a half. That's a pull out your hammer and smash it line. What? Yeah, 24 and what? a half, and it's even minus 110. The under is minus 120, so it's juiced to the under. Well, now I'm scared. Why is it so low? Hey, that's a hey, that's when you just pull out your hammer and smash it whenever they give you those right. gift lines. All right. All right, let's go to the graphic. Yeah, I'm going to be going with the Mavericks plus one and a half going up against the Kings. Uh, I gave out this bet a couple nights ago, and it just smashed it. And I expect the same thing to happen here in this game. The Mavericks offense is too good. Also going with Kyle Kuzma over 22 and a half points versus the Pistons. I mean, Kuzma, he loves playing against his childhood team, so he's going to uh, put up a good show. Yeah, I'm going with the Knicks here. Might have sent against the Spurs. And then Stephen Curry over 24 and a half points against the Hornets. Maybe they think it's going to be a blowout, uh, but that that seems like it's way too low. Let's take out the hammer and smash it, just like Dre said. Guys, that's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Friday, March 29th slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube, and it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 